Hello everybody and welcome back to another absolutely horrendous idea here on the channel. We are in Germany with NASCAR Cup Series cars on the northern part of the Autobahn at the AVUS. I don't know if it's AVUS an abbreviation or AVUS, whatever it is, but it is a uh, public road circuit that actually forms the northern part of the Autobahn. So here we are on the circuit for 10 laps on the public streets or roads, highway, I guess you could say, of Germany. Oh, God, we are lights out. We are actually underway. I was not expecting that so quick in Harvick. Oh, boy, he gets an absolutely fantastic launch off of the grid here. Denny Hamlin's going to go by. I don't even actually know where the corner is yet. So, oh, 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 oh. I think I have found the corner, and oh, that was kind of hot, not gonna lie, but here we go, we're losing all the time, that's just an absolutely perfect start, what is going on here, they are actually really, really struggling, oh my goodness, give me some room, William Byron, and we got this, like, what's going on here, almost like a chicane, it's a really dank chicane, okay, I mean, whatever floats your boat, I guess, right, now is over on the right side of the track over here, looks a little interesting, now is there something rolling across the ground? Really interesting circuit to say the least here. I don't know really where my breaking zone is here, but I mean, nonetheless, we are moving now. Look at us go. That is exactly how you want to hit a corner and not necessarily how you want to hit a car. But I mean, we make it work here. A solid first and opening lap in the... Uh, excuse me? You know, as much as that sucked, as we're going to get in the way, I'm actually going to let some cars go as the usual. Um... As much as that sucked, as what in the world just happened? Um, I think we have found a pretty nice tactic here in the future, so this is going to be actually pretty useful. We could just ram cars off the map if we want. So you know what? This is about to take a bit of a, a dirty turn. You got to go so slow into this hairpin. I mean, am I surprised? No, it's really tight, and oh my goodness, we could not get going at all right there. Let's go. Here we go. Get some speed going back up through the gears here, up into third. Don't hit the signs. Actually, I think you can it now. Never mind. You know what Kevin Harvick said? I'm going to hit that thing and send it flying. But track limits, I guess, not really uh, a big deal here. This is such a nice sweeping circuit. And then you, of course, got to get on the brakes and slip it up the inside. Oh, baby. Oh, I don't think you could do it much better than that. Is Kevin Harvick on my outside here? I want to kind of say, here, Kevin, come here. Never mind. He's running away. I kind of want to put him off the track. There's only room for one number four car on this grid. Where does the map kind of stop putting you off? Oh, I see right there because there's grass over here. So we got to put him off the map before we get to the grassy part. I feel like we can really break late into this corner and maybe a little bit too late. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson's daddy's going to need some serious medical assistance there as, you know, I thought I braked uh, at, at, at pretty much the perfect time, but you know, my mathematics, my calculations are telling me that I was certainly not right, and I was never the best when it came to uh, trigonometry. I kind of struggled, and I, I think if I was a little bit better at trigonometry, that would have really helped out in that specific scenario, but just wasn't meant to be. Hello, Kevin. Again, I am actually committed here to putting another car off the map. Stop running away from me, Kevin. Come on. Leave the space. Get him over there. Oh, no. I'm on a mission right here now. Come on. Here we go. Lights out. Lights out. We're underway. Kevin, you're going over there. Oh, no. We're back underway here. You know what? And I think we're learning our lesson quick. It has to be more natural. We just can't blatantly try to force a car, you know, off of the map here. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. I think... Wow. It's just so hard to get this thing... It's so hard to hit that airpin. Goodness me. I feel like I slow down at relatively the same time compared to the AI, but the game really didn't care there. It said, no, sir. And we continue on through the chicane. We're in fifth place right now. Are we even going to finish all 10 laps here on this track? That's that's the next objective. There's there's too much to mess around and screw around, around with here that it just leaves the door wide open for opportunities, you know, because I was with a bit of a, a lockup right there as we're going to try and do the good old slippery roo up the inside and contact more contact that's okay that's fine not a big deal brad i really really want to just put someone right there that's all it takes says wow okay i wonder what happens if you hit that grass like and you're halfway off the map but this is going to get interesting here we're going just about three wide hit the brakes right at the start 
Oh, and you, you can see, I mean, I swear I was on the brakes at the same time. Kevin Harvick's going to hate me. But, I mean, you know, you got to get a little bit physical if you want to get up here and lead these races now as we're up into second place to the back. Of that number 24, Exalta Chevrolet of William Byron leaves the door wide open for the slipstream. Come here at number 24. We're going to be all over his bank bumper. Give him a little bit of a bump drive. Let's see if we can just kind of, you know, run away from the other competitors here. But then I can kind of slip one up the inside. But I lost the back end right there. But he's going to run wide. And I am going to see the opportunity there. Some contact with William Byron. I think we're still side by side. This is my opportunity. This is my opportunity. See you later, William. He's going to take me with him. No. I forgot to go. I forgot to go. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, my goodness. That was a little bit of wheel spin right there. We break right here at the 150, and that seems to be... You know, not even enough. Oh, there's grass over there. Thank goodness that wasn't the edge of the map. That would have been deadly. But you know what? I think we have to break, like, literally just before the 150 marker, which is insane. Um, actually, you know what? For a stock car, it kind of makes sense, actually, now that I think about it more. As there goes the pylon. Byron's hitting things, and he's running over everything at this point now. Kyle Busch leaves the door wide open. They're all going to leave the door wide open for myself here. And up into, what, fourth place we go. Oh, there's some grass again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby, save it. Oh, my goodness, we're okay. Byron is a little bit slow. I want a little bit of redemption. Not impressed that he took me off the map with him, you know? So, certainly, you know, you know what I'm saying. You, you guys know exactly what I'm thinking. Yep, yep, get over there. Get over there. Oh, my goodness, it has gone wrong all over again. Oh, no. And we save it. Someone else is flipping, I think, with us. I just swear I just saw another car upside down. It was Byron. You're telling me that Byron stayed on the track, on the whole map in general? Are you kidding me right now? I mean, something something ain't right with that one. I'm pretty confident we put him off the map. But anyways, I mean, you know, we still keep a top 15 competitive running position out of it. So I am going to absolutely take that. And we're going to go run down the next cars. This is the most laps I think we've completed so far in one go, boys. We are now still 14th. Unfortunately, we break just before the 150. Is that enough? I am like full on lockup mode here. And you know what? We made it. We made it around the hairpin. It wasn't, you know, the best looking hairpin in the world. But I mean, we did make it. But I think we could we could break still another couple more meters earlier and be in good shape. And I, I saw something interesting on the front straightaway, actually, that kind of piqued my interest there. You see all that stuff over on our right side? I think we can drive on those roads. Um, but we're going to have to test that out here in a moment. Oh, I am so tight. I am so tight out of this corner. We're reeling in the top 10. I think the sun is going down from my last video that I recorded. This could get a little bit interesting. I completely forgot that I uh, set the time, uh, you know, movement to, to be really, really quick. Let's just say that. And I, I'm realizing right now the sun is actually, yeah, the sun is going down. This is about to present a bit of a... Uh, a bit of an issue, I feel like, here now, as there's not uh, too many trees in the way, so we might have some sunlight for a little bit here, but, I mean, we're about to find out the hard way, I think. Um, you know what? This is a highway, so I feel like it's got to be lit, right? I mean, why wouldn't they have lights on a highway? But I think we're about to find out what the uh, outcome of that is going to be here now, as uh, Chase Elliott's going to be getting a big old send up the inside from myself and the number four i got a little bit loose don't give me an opportunity to put you off this track gentlemen because you know i am absolutely going to take it bowman's about to be the next victim i think by getting going here here we go alex hang on hang on alex hang on hang on see you later alex elliot just turned me into the outside inside while bowman's off the map i saw him in the mirror we get a little physically spiraling in the background. I saw that as well. Oh my goodness, hit the Bregs. Byron, if you send it into the rear bumper of me, I was paying attention to my rear bumper and I wasn't even looking ahead of me. I mean, I'm now becoming a mirror driver. Call me Ross Chastain. Goodness me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just accidentally... I just accidentally downshifted twice and went from third to second to immediately to first and now we're down in 24th and there's another Alex Bowman car that we got to deal with and he's he's open he's open I clear him because now hello Brand Kozlowski everybody that I get a chance to just run off the map and eliminate the competition yeah no oh 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 my goodness oh my god he lands oh my goodness we catapulted him and he somehow <laughs> remains on the circuit have you ever yes I have because I've done it 17 times in this video already 
Chase Elliott is a hundred percent concerned. He looks in his rear view mirror. What does he see? He sees the number four. They have beef, but what he doesn't realize now is it's me driving the number four. I'm even worse than Kevin Harvick here when it comes to beef. So Chase Elliott's hoping that I don't get to him in time and it's not gonna happen unless, unless. Dang it, he stayed on the map. I'm starting to get this hairpin down pretty well, actually. You know, get a nice little breaking zone into there, nice marker. And actually, that was the best one I've hit all video yet. And look at that, we didn't actually lose about a millennium to the cars up in front of us here as we try to run down Martin Truex. Oh, they're getting physical up there in front of us. This car pushes so tight on the exit now. Of Is this technically a, a turn four? Is this an oval? Could we kind of classify this as an oval? I mean, it's kind of, maybe it's an oval, but it's certainly the dankest oval I have ever driven on. I'm going to give Cindric a massive, massive push here. And then brakes now, because we can't brake quite as late as the AI. And, you know, this is an aggressive send, but you know what? It's the Automon. We do what we got to do. And up into now 19th we go. I mean, a nice recovery we are having here. That's for sure. I'm just running those signs over at this point because they don't really matter. Coming to the final lap here in Germany. One lap to go. Sponsored by Going Bankruptcy as we head down towards turn one. I want to put at least one more car, you know, off the circuit coming to the line. I'm going to do a big old send here up the inside of Kyle Larson, Logano, Hamlin. You know, I didn't, I swear that was not on purpose. I thought I hit the brakes pretty well. Um, I hadn't been breaking anywhere different there in the last few laps, but apparently that time wasn't quite good enough here. Now this, we're going to head through this final sector. Yeah, I guess this is not an oval now that I think about it because it's a right turn right there. But anyways, into the final turn. Are we close enough to kind of maybe sabotage someone? Oh, yes, we are because William Byron, how you doing, William? No, it's okay, William. No, no, William, come on. I'll give you the position. No, you deserve it. You 100%. Oh, no, you don't. No, I just baited you so hard. So hard. Oh, he's gone. See you later. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's a horrendous crash in the background, and we finish in 15th. Do something really cool right here. Never mind. That's not going to be cool at all. Oh, my God. You know what? Maybe that was kind of cool. I thought I was going to drift around that corner. It is, it's starting to rain here on the cooldown lap, but my question is, can I use this little excess road here? Everyone's coming into the pits, and I'm just curious. Is this going to be off the map? Oh, oh, I think we're okay. But this is like an off-ramp here on the highway, and I'm just kind of curious to see how far this go. You know what? I think that answers my question pretty quick. It really doesn't go far, does it? Okay, come on. Can I keep driving on it? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh, hold on. Look at... Oh, we have got ourselves, as uh, I say, a, uh, a bit of a challenge here. I don't know if we can actually make that or not, but can I drive up here onto the grass? Yes, I can. Oh, baby. So we gotta be smart here. We gotta be very smart. We gotta jump over this right here. We gotta use this grass and hit it at speed and somehow land on that patch of asphalt right there and hopefully not overshoot said asphalt. This is gonna be difficult, but I mean, I'm up for it. All right, let's give this a shot. I don't have a good feeling about this, but let's yeet it to the right. So there you have it. What a absolute, I don't even know how to describe it, mess that was here in the uh, Autobahn and stuff. But it was, I think, a uh, beautiful, beautiful mess. Let's uh, put it at that. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. That is going to wrap it up for me to see William Byron flying through the air one final time. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.